After you, sir. All right. Uh, hey, guys. My name is Joseph Paulo. I'm 31 and currently playing at the St. Helens. 31? Yeah. Hell. I oh, know. Look good, eh? <laughs> nah. I wish I could turn back the clock, but yeah. feel young. That's the main thing. And, oh, guys, I'm uh, Lachlan Coote. Uh, born and bred in West, uh, <laughs> Western Sydney. Uh, last club was uh, North Queensland Cowboys, and uh, I'm 28. Excited oh, to be here. And uh, looking forward to the kickoff 2019. You must think this is this is your life, mate. He gave him, <laughs> he gave him nothing. I just heard it was so sunny in St Helens. Yeah. So I was like, mate, good I need weather. to get there. The good surf's weather. good. Don't worry about Cronulla Beach, mate. <laughs> when I heard Cootie was signed here, I got excited. But uh, no, nah, I've always actually wanted to come to the Super League, um, playing in the World Cup over here. And I feel like it was probably five years ago I told my wife, I'll end up over here and she probably started crying because she doesn't really like England. So <laughs> I gave her five years notice. So when the Saints gave me the call and I heard Cootie and Kevy were actually talking to the club, it made me more excited and sort of gave the boys a text and like, bro, are we doing this? Keen? I'm keen. Let's go, bro. But, I'd you be know. a bit like your wife. I, I, I <laughs> cried too when I had to come over here. <laughs> nah, but um, I, I'm a bit like Seth. Um, you know, excited to be here. I heard some great things about this club and that's um, why I was pretty excited when they, when they had a bit of interest in me. Um, you know, they've always been a, a competitive club and they're, they're, they're well established as well. So I'm um, happy to be here. And, you know, um, when my Western Sydney mate yeah, was signing man. as well, I got excited when he was coming over. Yeah, I feel like we're spoiled at our club at St. Helens. Um, mm. Not just with the English internationals, like for just even those guys, like that's pretty amazing to have so many international players in your team but just the young guys coming through and the excitement they give you like I've only seen him in the off season but man like there's so many guys pushing for positions at this club that there's a lot of depth at the Saints and you know that's something like as the season goes on uh, you'll be looking for those players to step up and we're pretty fortunate to have those guys as options ready to go and as me and Cutie coming to a side like we're pretty much those older guys and more experienced heads so you know, you'd be looking for those youth and leaning on them during the, the long enduring season because I know how, coming from the NRL we're not used to playing so many games but uh, <laughs> those are season, yeah it? it's definitely long and it starts early and finishes after the NRL so that's a big change for me one uh, probably Tio has uh, surprised me the, oh not surprised I've never really heard of, um, of Tio before but um, just uh, he's, he's such a young player but such an, an old head so he's like an old soul with um, the way he plays and goes about his football he's, uh, he's definitely got the skill to, to be a great player and, and a great half yeah Tio's definitely surprised me too and um, I guess with the forwards uh, Morgan Knowles he's a player of uh, extreme potential I can see him just really having a great career kid's got a great work ethic uh, he's willing to learn and just one of those kids you sort of want to do well in their careers because he's so humble about his business and um, he just I feel like he has the whole package he's fit he's strong fast knows the game and um, I just can see the best things ahead for him so looking forward to see him play with him and see his career sort of uh, transition and grow we know of one yeah. fellow that we used to play with probably Blake Austin um, you know he's going to be exciting for the Super League I think they're obviously expecting big things from him and I'm sure he'll deliver as well. Um, he's one of those players that, you know, he's off the cuff sort of thing and, um, you know, he's a very very exciting player. So it'd be good coming up against him and, and, and good watching him throughout the season. Obviously signing over, you sort of see all the other players coming through and even with the announcement of Gareth Whittip yesterday coming to the Super League, it's, it's a credit to those that have sort of helped build this game over the last 10 years and seeing the national team do so well, you can start to see why the Super League starting to become an elite competition and it's not just offering guys on the back end of their career but guys are actually in their prime and feeling good about playing rugby league, want to test themselves over here and I guess like you said, Blake Austin, uh, excited to play against him, played with him and sort of hit him up on Insta on <laughs> And text him a few times, so, you know, just going to watch that left foot. We know it's coming, Blake, mate. We know the dummy. Show and go. If no one doesn't know, he loves a dummy. He loves a dummy. I'm probably not the first one to say it. It'll be on the coach's tip sheet. Yeah, no one take a dummy off Blake Austin. He's probably played with the best guy, with the best dummy in JT, so. Yeah, that's up there with JT. <laughs> <laughs>
hopefully it's it's going to be um, a tough competition this year with with all the NRL signings that have come this year, and um, I think there's um, yeah bigger and better things to come. Yeah, excited to play. Um, excited to see the atmosphere. I hear about in Cass at the jungle, they might have 6,000 people, but it feels like 50,000. So it's going to be cool to play at fields like that and different atmospheres. Go to London, play there. Like, you know, when you're in Australia, you only stay in Australia or go to New Zealand. So to go to France and all these different places, it'd be amazing to play and uh, see a part of the UK.